All right, so we're checking out the only game where you can replicate viral videos in the most ridiculous way possible. It's Universe Sandbox 2. This is the Earth. The Earth is sad because it's alone and depressed. Here is a second Earth. Here is a third Earth. There is a reason I am making a lot of Earths. You ever see those videos in, in the recommended area and it's like, how many Fortnite players can one bullet go through? How many cars does it take to stop a monster truck? It's rookie crap. Okay, it's pleb stuff. We're gonna we're gonna do this the meta way today. Cause I wanna know how many Earths does it take to stop Uranus? I'm not just choosing Uranus to say Uranus, by the way. I'm choosing it because it's the planet that's not grossly oversized compared to Earth. I could probably use the sun, but I don't know if I can support enough Earths in the game engine in order to stop it. All right, so here is 50. 15 Earths. So since we're about to destroy the lives of children for science for a second, I have to talk about gravity. Uh, we're gonna have to turn it off. And the reason why is because the way gravity works is it will continue to pull our planet forward, Uranus forward, forever, essentially. As long as there's more Earth to generate more. Here, let me show you. All right, so we're gonna launch at six kilometers per second, the speed of the orbit of Uranus. Uranus about to get a bunch of speeding tickets. And as we follow Uranus, we will be able to track its speed. Now you're gonna notice it starts off at a nice slow six kilometers per second, but then all of a sudden, as Earths begin to absolutely get friggin' obliterated in the front portion, it goes faster and faster because it's being pulled forward by frickin' gravity, which completely destroys the entire point of the test. I mean, unless you wanna see just a ton of Earths die to Uranus and Uranus getting hotter and hotter for each Earth it engulfs. Gravity. Zero. Uranus penetrating. All right, 15 Earths, no gravity. Uranus at six kilometers per second, go. I don't actually know if 15 Earths is enough. You can see they're already losing their atmosphere. Okay, the fact that it smashes the Earths and just the particles go flying into space is kind of awesome. We're down to about four, 4.5, and it looks like Uranus, just from taking the beatings, is starting to slip past the Earths here. So it got down to 4.4. So, uh... What happens if I were to suddenly turn gravity on, I wonder? Oh, all of the sad broken pieces that were the Earth are now kind of starting to move toward Uranus. And Uranus with a big uppercut upon the Earth and then spiraling back around for yet another devastating left hook. And this one last Earth over here thought it was going to get off the, the hook. And then <laughs> Uranus did a freaking like a, an L turn over here and took its ass out. All right, Uranus back at it again. Come on, Uranus, I know you can do this. We're at uh, 4.54 kilometers per second right now. 441, okay, starting to slow down, starting to get closer to about three or so, okay? Four even, kind of starting to bank a little bit. Not too good as the Earth begin to blast it on downward. Luckily, thanks to science, I'm able to get Uranus freaking back on track over here a little bit. Wow, 15 Earths and we only got down to 3.5 kilometers per second. It's gonna take a freaking ton of Earths. Okay, 30 Earths. Real quick, I, I just wanna make sure we're getting somewhere here. I'm gonna throw a Venus at Earth and do it six kilometers a second. Venus just got really sad when I turned off the gravity. It looks so barren and naked. It looks so sad. Okay. So the first Earth completely deflected Venus. Let me see what would happen if we left the gravity on. All right, Venus, go get him, buddy. <gasps> yeah, it still doesn't work. It's, it does move the Earth. Like, it, it kind of moves it. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, all the fragments starting to fly all over the place. It's given one of the Earth rings. The other Earth over here has died, sadly. But now even more molecules from the first Earth are beginning to fly all... Actually, all the Earth now are starting to get rings just from the pieces of... I guess that would be Venus's pieces originally there. So, even... <laughs> what, what, the, what the hell just happened? How come my one Earth totally obliterated? Actually, how come all the Earths are starting to get really sad? It may be because they're all interfering with each other's gravities. I'm really not sure. But now all the pieces beginning to, you know, 
swirl around the earth. Oh, it's like the friggin' caramel topping on a on an ice cream. It is absolutely the thing I always wanted to see, didn't know I needed, and unfortunately for all the people living on earth, it makes their life really suck because you know, it's putting giant frigging flame spots all over the planet. But uh, hey, the United States uh, scrapes by one more time, huh? All right, we gotta stop Uranus's orbit once and for all, damn it. And Uranus is off already, smashing through several Earths. All, uh, we're down to 4.93, which is pretty good. So it seems to be relatively on track. You can see as all the Earths very clearly getting De devastated as they smash into Uranus. It doesn't look like it's deviating from the path either. So we may finally stop this frigging planet yet. Okay, now it's starting to slow down a lot less. I don't know why. I think it's because it's just barely skipping off of the Earths at this point. Come on, Earths. You can do this. We're down to nine to four nine two at this point. I'm not really sure what has happened. Uranus is no longer like blowing the Earths up. It's just kind of phasing through them now. Come on, baby. Down to four oh nine. How many Earths is it gonna friggin' take? We've been blasting people into the atmosphere for a while. Well, into the dead of space. It got through all the Earths. Okay, forty five Earths. How many people must die? For me to figure out how many Earths this is going to take. Go get them, Earths. I know you can protect the universe. All right, 414. We're starting to get close to three at this point. I don't even think we're halfway. There's still plenty of Earths left, so we may finally stop this damn thing. It's just a line of Earths getting backhanded whack over and over again by Uranus. 3.7. Come on. 3.61, 3.52. Will we get under three for the first time ever? 3.39. Do not freaking change your trajectory under those goddamn Earths. 3.2, 3.10. Okay, now it's going down about 0.1 kilometer a second per Earth it hits. Oh God, now Uranus is spinning because it caught one of the Earths at a freaking slant. Oh yeah, Uranus has changed from smashing Earths into angle grindering them. 2.87, 2.79. All of the child Earth particle <laughs> is crashing into the barrens over here, lighting them up. Look at like, the giant pieces that's hitting everything. 2.66. Again, as it goes slower and slower, there's more and more particles that just shower the other Earths. There is so many pieces of Earth in space right now, but we're at 2.47 finally. 2.37, 2. Point, oh my god, it's going down like less each time. 2.28, son of a bitch. I think it's spinning slower. This is interesting. The pieces are bigger and bigger because Uranus is going slower and slower when it beats down the Earths. That right there is a powerful golden shower that this Earth is going to be getting a nice piece of. We're below 1.98 kilometers per second at this point. It's taken 45 freaking Earths so far. I vastly underestimated how many Earths it would take. Okay, 75 Earths. Uranus, starting out happy, as it often does. Somehow the frame rates, still looking fantastic, and Earths begin to fall. Okay, we're doing good so far, and we've got plenty of Earth to go. We're at 2.10, but it starts slowing down a lot less. Okay, so far, so good. 187, plenty of Earths left. 174, this is typically where things start going way downhill. Watching Uranus bowl toward you through all the Earths at this distance is kind of cool. <laughs> Steve, right? Okay. We actually got down to 380 meters a second. It's taken 75 freaking Earths so far. So I think that means that if we do 100 Earths, it should stop before it gets to the, look at how many fragments that got thrown out by the Earth. <laughs> Real quick though, I wanna show you what happened when you have 75 Earths and you turn the gravity up just a little bit. You see what's happening all the way at the end down there? <laughs>
the gravity is currently up at four times and it looks like a few Earths are starting to get pissed off. Oh my god, look at the freaking line of Earths over here. A couple of Earths are starting to get pissed off at one another. No doubt they're starting to rub a little bit. Yeah, that's what's getting, they're getting pretty close. Once you start getting into the thousands of gravities, it turns into a big long runway light. This is what would happen, by the way, if they all had their orbits turned on. <laughs> It creates this giant line of particles as they all try and orbit and then they begin to pull into each other's gravity in turn smashing into one another and causing just a shower of sparks and coolness echoing throughout the entirety of the universe. All right, anyway, let's finally freaking stop Uranus. All right, 100 Earths. So if this works, that means that uh, if Uranus was ever moving toward our planet at its normal orbital velocity, and gravity, you know, didn't work like it's supposed to. Uh, it would only take us 100 Earths sitting in our back pocket between it and certain annihilation. Real quick, I just want to show you how cool it is when you speed this way up. <laughs> it just plows through all the Earth. Come on, baby, you can do it. Yes. Okay, this is interesting. Right at about Earth. 54 uranus suddenly took a hard turn like one of the earths completely knocked it off of its path that's kind of cool but it, it has to just stop via earth all right we're down to 179 i don't know why but sometimes when uranus crashes into my earth it slows down more than other times i don't know uranus just does whatever it wants come on 314 we still got plenty of earth left okay we've had some really good impacts we're almost below one kilometer per second so slow 622 meters per second just stop for the love of jesus 595 Okay, that was a big slowdown. It went from like 600 meters a second to 203 meters a second. It just knocked Uranus way the hell off. It's not good enough though. Come on, Uranus. You gotta be, you gotta go completely down to zero. Yeah, when it hit, when Uranus hits now, it goes flying. Okay, I have to show you something. We have now completely stopped Uranus, but not in the way that you would think. The reason that we've stopped Uranus is because of how fast the Earth spins. Uranus is moving, well, was moving so slow that the Earth slaps it out of the way. Let me show you. So Uranus is chilling, looking like it's going to destroy Earth. But all of a sudden, <laughs> it shoots off course. Let me do it slower here for you. It's seriously like it thinks the Earth is going to give it herpes. So it comes all the way down here. Super close, right? When all of a sudden, the Earth spinning begins to touch it. And while the Earth does get, you know, freaking atomized damn near, what ends up happening is it shoots it off. Of course, look at the friggin' spin it put on this thing. It's like the hardest damn slice in space golf anyone has ever seen. So it took 18, 19, it took 81 Earths to get in Uranus's way to stop us from dying. <laughs> to the 81 Earths that gave their lives so that we could all continue to eat barbecue potato chips. We salute you. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Universe Sandbox 2. I'm pretty sure this is the most people I've ever killed in the game. Anyway, until the next time, stay foxy. Much love.